Hello, good morning, Patriots, Americans. Another day. <laughs> Another day in the bullshit to do stuff. Well, Hunter Biden was found guilty on all three counts of possessing and buying a gun and lying about his drug addiction problem. Now, with the way the media is trying to spin this is, oh, see, justice is blind. DNC is trying to get spin it that way. Is the president's son got convicted? Donald Trump got convicted. Justice is equal. And no, it's not. Hunter Biden got a very fair trial with very fair jury selection and a very, very fair court setting. And Donald Trump didn't. Hunter Biden's charges were legit. He's caught on camera. He's everywhere. Donald Trump charges are, well, they don't exist. Because no one can t still tell you the underlying charges of why this crap's a felony. Let alone 34 counts of felonies. Then just in time for the June 27th debate coming up. If you don't think you're not watching a movie... I think you're in denial. You don't think that Joe Biden's not going to use? <coughs> How can the system be weaponized when my own son got prosecuted and convicted? We all know there's a lot more harsh stuff on that laptop than the three gun charges. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not making light of the gun charges. He should have been. But we all know he's not going to get jail time. Not to buy him. And they're going to appeal it. And if they don't appeal it, Daddy Joe's going to pardon him because they're federal charges. But you know, you can pardon Donald Trump. And you say, well, it was a state court. Yeah. They use federal charges to charge him with a felony in the state court. How does that work? Easy. It doesn't. But hey, we got the orange man bad guy. Destroy the Constitution at any cost. Now, with all the pedophile underage sex things of young women he has in that thing, on that laptop. All his business deals with Ukraine. Burisma. <coughs> China. Probably Russia also. As well, a whole bunch of things we don't know about. Well, we do know, but they won't uh, tell you the truth about it. And they're not going to prosecute him in those crimes because those crimes actually tie him to Joe Biden. Because Robert Hurd said that they don't bother prosecuting Joe Biden for his crimes of taking documents because he's not mentally capable of handling trial, but somehow he's still the President of the United States. Justice is fair, but you know, hey, James Comey let Hillary Clinton go with 30,000 with 30, emails deleted. After. <laughs> After he made the case again for her, he decided, well, oh, there was no intent. Yeah. No big deal. We haven't gotten back into the Clinton body count. All right? All the crimes that Obama did. <laughs> using drone strikes to kill Americans. George Bush's uh, crap to get us into a war that we didn't have to get into. Because Saddam Hussein, as it turns out, he might have been harboring terrorists. That was about dealing with a guy that wouldn't co cooperate with the federal banking system, the Rothschilds, the fiat money system, which they're desperately trying to save. And all the child, child trafficking that's going along, getting paid off by cartels to leave the border open. Diane Feinstein, limo driver, being a Chinese spy, 
Eric Squaw were all sleeping with a, with a Chinese spy before she fled back to the country. And this is the stuff we do know about. Can you imagine the stuff we don't yet? So, even though Hunter Biden was found guilty of his of his legit charges, we all know they're covering and they're hiding a lot more because they connect Joe Biden. And you can bet that when, when Donald Trump says it's a rigged system, Biden's going to say, hey, they prosecuted my son and I stayed away. Like I said, he'll probably pardon his son if the appeal doesn't go his way. He won't pardon Trump. Again, they're going to say, it's a state court. He used federal charges. And he'll use what you're a convicted felon. January 6th. This is what, this is what Joe Biden's going to uh, debate with. The system is fair. They prosecuted my son. You are a felon. We must save democracy. And we're, we're afraid you won't leave office like you did in 2021. <laughs> oh, this is what debate, because debate, Joe has nothing else to debate on. He can't debate on the economy because the economy sucks. He can't debate on employment because it sucks. Inflation is still high. People are still paying a ton for their groceries and, and gas. People are now paying basic bills with their credit cards. It's not going good for the country. It isn't. But hey, leave your comments down below. What's your opinion like to know? Like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll talk to you later.